Hey there, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Serato stems with Serato DJ Pro and your DJ controller. And if you stick around till the end of this video, I'll show you how you can download my mu music resource guide, which lists some of my favorite websites that I download all my music from. I'm DJ Nicole Otero, professional DJ from NYC. And on this channel, I teach DJs how to get started on their DJ journey and also how to uplevel their DJ business. And if you like what you see, click subscribe. All right, let's get started then. So the first thing you need to do is go to serato.com and go to products and then download Serato DJ Pro download. And then you'll want to download version, this present version that they have um, because it, it was first released Serato stems for um, Serato 3.0. And I have a Mac, so I'm going to do the Mac version. And then you just want to make sure that, you know, your system preferences match what's here. Okay. And for a Mac, you would just go to Apple up here about this Mac and um, it'll tell you, uh, you know, like I have, this is mine, right? They're M1, um, version 11.0, and it's Big Sur. And I could see here that Big Sur is um, supported. Now, before I even download this though, um, I think it's important to save the current version of Serato that you do have just in case there are any glitches when you do download the new Serato DJ Pro. And you know that's always the fear of downloading a new version is that it's going to crash in the middle of a gig. So what I would do is I would go down here to your finder, go to applications and find your current version of Serato DJ Pro. I already did this, but like this would just say Serato DJ Pro when you come in here, right? If you have it, then you just have to click it and then name it the version that it is. So the current version that I had was 2.5.5. And then I just named it there. And then when I went to download this, you know, you just click download and then you follow the prompts, right? You just click download, follow the prompts. Then when it downloaded into my applications, I went back to applications and once it, the new version was there, then I named it the version that it is, 3.0.12. So this way, should your new version, this one, crash in the middle of a gig, you can always revert to the old one, okay, just to get it going. That's just a safety because I know everyone's, including myself, <laughs> um, is scared to download the new version. Alrighty, so now let's get into Serato um, stems. So the next step is make sure your DJ controller is connected to Serato DJ Pro. All right. Cause it won't, you can't activate stems unless it's connected to your DJ controller. Then you'll come up here to um, settings and we're going to make sure here under DJ preferences that replace pad mode with stems is checked. Okay. So once you check that, then you're going to designate, how you want those pads to work because on your DJ controller, you should have some pads, which, which I'll show you in, in a minute. Um, and I'm going to choose that it's in sampler mode when the stems are working. Okay. So once you have that, you just come back here. Now we can get into picking out songs. So um, the first track I'm going to pick is move your body by Marshall Jefferson, a house music classic. And, you know, I'm going to think about, I want songs that are similar BPMs and ideally in the same key. All right. When you're using stems, but, um, so I'm going to load this in now it's going to take a second before the stems are read. Um, and then, so just give it that time. And the next one I'm going to use is, um, house music by Eddie Amador. And yeah, so, should I press play, we'll hear. So that's what it sounds when I play it. So now I have Marshall Jefferson's house, um, move your body loaded here. Now, if I press sampler here, see, cause I designated it to the sampler, right? Um, you can see that these are all blue and each 
Um, one of these blue pads is a stem, meaning this is just the vocals. This is just, I believe, the keys, bass line, and then the drums. So let's listen to what that sounds like. Now, if I get rid of the drums, I got rid of the bass line. I got rid of the keys. Just bass line and vocal. It sounds awesome, right? Wait, how you could extract that? So that's how you get, you know, just to listen to your stems, you know, and then if you want to go back to like having cues on your pads, you just go back to hot cue. But just remember before you go back to hot cue to have all your parts there, if you want to hear all the parts of the track, right? That's something to do. Now, if I go to the next track, which I loaded, which was um, House Music by Eddie Amador, it sounds like this. Right? So these are two similar tracks. Took out the keys. It's just the drums now and the vocals. Now I can try to press play to the other track. You gotta have them locked, the BPMs, right? Just the vocal here. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, DJ. As promised, if you would like a copy of my free music resource guide where I list my top websites where I download most of my music from, just scroll down to the bottom of this video and click the link and you'll be able to get it. I'm DJ Nicole Otero, professional DJ from NYC. And on this channel, I teach DJs how to get started on their DJ journey and also up-level their DJ business. As always, if you like what you see, click subscribe. All right, I'll see you next time, DJ.